Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I'm going to show you how to highlight alternate rows in Excel using conditional formatting and a very simple formula. And once you get a hang of how to use that formula you can tweak it a little bit to highlight every third or fourth or fifth row in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have a, a data set and I've already highlighted these rows. So you can see the data on the left, I have every second record highlighted. Now notice that this is not the second row in Excel. This is the second record of this data set. So this data set actually has a header and this one in row number two is actually the first record. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to highlight every alternate record in the table. So your Excel row number and the record number are going to be two different things. So in this case, I have highlighted every alternate row. And in this case, I have highlighted every third row. So if you want to highlight every second row, the faster way could be by using an Excel table because when you convert your data into an Excel table, it automatically highlights alternate rows. So here I have this data set and to convert this into an Excel table, I go to insert and click on table. And as soon as I do this, it shows me this create table dialog box where it asks me to verify the range. And when I click OK, it automatically highlights alternate rows as you can see this here. Now, this is fine if you want to quickly do this, if you do not want this to start from the first record itself, but let's say from February and then April and then June, then you can also do this. You can go here and then you can create a new table style and then you can specify uh, what should be the first row stripe and second row stripe and you can apply the format. Now, this is fine, but this is where it stops. It will not allow you to highlight every third or fourth or fifth row because it is not that flexible. But this is just a quick way of doing it. Now let me come to the conditional formatting method where you can use the formula and you can highlight alternate rows or any number of rows you want. So the way this works is conditional formatting takes a formula. And if that formula returns true, then conditional formatting applies the formatting that you have specified. And if that formula returns a false, then conditional formatting would not apply the formatting that you have specified. So in this case, let me first show you the formula. And the formula in this case would be mod, which is a function that would give you the remainder when you divide a number with another number. So it takes two arguments, it takes a number and it takes a divisor with which you are dividing, dividing that number and then it give you the remainder part of it. So in this case, the number that I'm going to divide is the row number because I want to analyze each row. And if that row is the second or the fourth or the sixth row, then I want to return true. So in this case, I'm going to use the formula row, which actually gives me the row number. So in this case, this is going to give me two, but if it's in the cell which is below this, it is going to give me three. And I'm going to divide this by two. Now, if I hit enter here, it gives me zero. But what I really want in this case is I want to check whether this uh, row number here is the first row number or the second row number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to press F2, and I'm going to say, if this is equal to one, then give me true. And if it is not equal to one, then give me false. So in this case, it gives me false because this is the first record. Now notice that I have used equal to one because this is the second record in Excel, but the first record in the data set because the row number here is two, but I want to highlight third row number in Excel, fifth row number in Excel. So I have used one. If this had been the first one uh, and let's say I do not have headers, then I would make this zero. Now see what happens when I apply this formula to all these cells, it would give me true for every alternate row because in this case it divides uh, row number three by two and the remainder is one. It divides row number five by one and the remainder is uh, one. So in this case, I'm going to use this formula in conditional formatting. So I copy this formula. I would select this entire data set, not the headers, just the part that I want to highlight. Go to home, go to conditional formatting and click on new rule. And in the new formatting rule dialog box, I'm going to select use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here I would paste this formula and I would specify the format. So I click on the format button and you can specify the number format, font, border, fill, but I'm going to use only the fill part and let's select this orange shade. And now I click OK and I click OK and instantly it is going to highlight every alternate row in this data set. And this is because each of these cells is actually being analyzed based on the formula that I had supplied. And 
each of these cells in the alternate row are going to return true and this is why the formatting gets applied. Now if you want to change the formula and highlight every third row then you can again use the same formula with a very minor tweak. So let me copy this formula here and paste it in the cell and the only change I'm going to make is instead of dividing it by 2 I'm going to divide it by 3 and what this does is it is going to give me true for every third row so this one is true and then this one is true and then this one is true so now if I want to change the highlighting so that I want to highlight every third row I'm again go back I'll go to go back to home conditional formatting here I would click on manage rules because a rule is already applied if nothing is applied you click on new rule and I'm going to change this formula here and click OK. And as soon as I do this, you can see every third row is highlighted. So this is how you can use conditional formatting with a very simple formula to highlight alternate rows or every third or fourth or fifth row. And you can use the same technique and apply this to columns as well. So if you want to highlight every alternate column, then you can also do this just instead of the row formula, you have to use uh, the column formula. Uh, that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you like the videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you get updated whenever I come up with a new video.